We had one baby on December 20th, um, Trinity Faith, and we had the other one on January 1st, Darcy Rain, and they was born at 22 weeks. Well, one of them was 22 weeks, the other one was 24 weeks because they were 12 days apart. And um, they're both doing good right now. They're breathing on their own. They wasn't at first, but they are right now. Well, after I had um, Trinity, the first baby, I wasn't able to go see her for four days because I had to stay in bed. Um, I wasn't allowed to get up for anything. She was born so early, her eyes were still fused shut, and we didn't know if she was going to make it or not, and everything. They never, they didn't really come up there and tell me in the hospital anything that what they was doing or nothing like that. Yeah, that was a tough situation to been just had a child but then not really know the status and could have been, you know, the baby could have died right right then and then days and days going by and you don't really get much information. That was difficult. I had to fill out lots of papers for both babies and stuff like that. I was just like, oh my gosh. Uh, but I called the nurse in there and she helped me with it a little bit and that was fine but yeah there was a lot of stuff I didn't understand on filling out the forms. It was something like to fill out for their social security card and stuff like that. I just I didn't understand it. I still haven't got their social security card. So <laughs> reading them is a uh, a little bit harder to understand than having somebody tell you or explain to you what they are about. So I think uh, having to read all those like medicines, conditions or something is just is harder to understand. I have lots of medicine that I had to take after I got out of the hospital and I still have most of them because I can't remember to take them. Pills. <laughs> I have iron pills. I was supposed to take iron pills and um, I guess it was because I was bleeding a lot. I'm not sure what they are for. Iron bleeding. But um, I don't know. They didn't even really tell me what they were for. They just t they gave them to me in the emergency room too. But I don't know. Some medicine's really confusing that you have to take. Um, one of my medicines I had to take was like one pill one day, the next day two pills, then the next day three pills, and then ten days after that three pills, then go back down to two pills and then one pill. And I never finished that medicine either, but it was real confusing and real hard to keep up with whenever you're thinking about tons of other things besides taking your medicine. I have so much other things that I was supposed to do and haven't done and like they send me all over the place to the social security office and turn in their birth certificates over here and all kinds of stuff. It was a lot of places. I don't have a car so I can walk to the health department but the Social Security Department is down there by the Capitol. It's pretty far of a walk. They have sleep rooms up there that are blessing, but you, nobody tells you about them. You just kind of accidentally stumble up on them, you know, or hear from somebody else, and then you go to asking them. It's like they got rooms there available to help you, or maybe possibly to help the people that's there with you. They do have a lot of uh, things to help you, but if you don't know about them, they don't do you good.